Hi guys, so today I'm coming to you from my inside cabin, which is tucked away here on deck 11 on MSC World Europa. Now this is one of the newest cruise ships from MSC Cruises and it's really interesting to see some of the little differences on here versus what you're seeing on their more traditional ships or the ships that they've already got out in the market already. Now today I'm going to give you a full detailed room tour of this cabin and it's going to be slightly different to the room tours that I would usually offer you because over the last couple of months, more and more of you guys have reached out to say, okay, fine, it's good to see from a solo perspective, it's good to see from the perspective of a couple, but what if I'm going on one of these cruise ships as a family? Like, what what type of room can I actually expect if that is my scenario? Now, today, you can probably tell already with these guys in the background, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. So the way this room is set up right now, this is a room that will accommodate, in my case, me solo, a couple or it could accommodate up to a family of four. Now the layout, the way that this works, you've got the double bed down below which can be split into twin beds with the tables in the middle. You then got bunk number one and bunk number two which will be significantly easier to see when I go out into the corridor and bring you around the room. Now last one for me before we head out is just that if you find this video useful and if you enjoy it I would be so appreciative if you would give it a thumbs up down at the bottom because that massively helps the algorithm here on YouTube and while we're there if you could also think about subscribing to the channel as well that would be brilliant but look for now let's get out there because you're not here to talk to me you're here to see the room. Okay so the room that we're going to look at today is 11581 so in other words you're in cabin 581 up on deck 11 of the ship. Now, coming in, you'll see that this room is set up to accommodate four people with a double bed down below and two singles dropped down from above. Now, there would usually be ladders set up for these single beds, but I haven't included them in the video today just because it was a little bit easier for me to move around the cabin without the ladders being at the end of the bed as well. Now, it is worth noting that underneath you've got your two lamps, so a lamp on either side of the bed above the bedside table, and they've both got a USB port directly on the front. Now you can see there that the lamp is quite nice actually below the bed so you're not getting any light blocked when they're down. Now the passengers up above have each got an LED light and it is worth noting that the passengers up there don't then have a plug point so you can't charge a phone, you can't have wires hanging if you're in those upper beds. To be honest, I think that's a plus because usually those beds would be occupied by children so it means you don't have any charger cables there posing a safety risk through the night. Now over on this side, you've got a little table or a workstation or a dressing table, whatever you choose to view it as and you've got your plug points above the desk. So this cabin I think is pretty well equipped for the grade of cabin. You've got two American plugs, two European plugs and also two USBs on the desk. Now to the side of the table there you've got two shelves with the guardrails on them and then under here you've got your fridge. Now I always advise to just get that mini bar emptied and then you can use it to store your own water, your own chocolate, your own whatever. Now turning around to look at storage, I should apologise because I've already unpacked into these wardrobes so please excuse my clothes. But you can see here a decent amount of hanging space for one person. I mean it's loads for one person. The nerve that I probably would have, or the nervousness rather, with this cabin is it's not a huge amount of hanging space for a family. You can see that as someone travelling on their own, I've actually filled most of that hanging space so I'm not entirely sure how a family would get on with that size of wardrobe and that's with a double. Now across from the beds you've got a really nice size of TV, you've then got your cabin phone so you can contact guest services, you can call other cabins there and then you've got your document holder which falls directly underneath the TV. Now heading towards the bathroom, you've got a full size mirror on the left hand side, alongside three hooks that you can use to hang jackets, hang um, key cards, you can hang whatever on them really. And then over here, you've got your air conditioning. Now the aircon on this ship, I really like the fact you can also turn it off as well as on. Sometimes it's just always stuck on. The fans are quiet though, so I didn't have any issues with that being on all night. And then in the bathroom, this is definitely the part of any MSC cabin that I'm a huge advocate of because I hate a shower curtain. So <laughs> the simple fact that they've got this curved shower screen, it definitely feels far more luxurious than a lot of other cruise lines. And it's just so good to not have a shower where the curtain is constantly clinging to you. 
Now plenty of storage in here and a really nice feature is that they've enlarged the sink in all the bathrooms on this ship versus Meravelia Plus class ships which have still got that triangular basin so a really big plus point for me. So yeah, that's a quick fly round and inside cabin on MSC World Europa set up to accommodate a family of four. So what do you think? Would you cruise in a cabin like this?